Welcome to this video. Have you ever used JNL or journal files of Abacus software? Do you know how helpful they are? Please keep watching to find out four interesting use of them. When you save a model database, Abacus software also saves a model database journal file or JNL file, with the same name beside your file. For example, I want to create a simple CAE file. I create a cubic part and then save it as a CAE file. I choose the cube as the name of the file. Now I open the directory folder, and can find a JNL file with the same name beside the CAE file. Here also there is a replay or RPY file with the name of Abacus. But first please let's investigate what is inside these files. As I know both of the files contain Python commands, I open both of them by Python editor, then we can compare them. The JNL file differs from the replay file as follows. The replay file contains every operation performed during a session, but the JNL file contains only the commands that change the saved model database, in other words operations that do not change the model database are not saved in the journal file, but are saved in replay file. For example, commands that create or edit a part, change the time incrementation of a step, or modify the mesh are saved in both files, but commands for creating a viewport, rotating the model, or viewing results in the visualization module are saved only in replay file. As another example, these lines save the model database. These lines exist in the replay file but do not exist in the JNL file. How JNL files can help us. Here is four interesting use of JNL files. First, you can use them to create your own Python script. As mentioned earlier, the JNL file contains the commands that change the saved model database, so we can use these commands to create our own Python script. Second, to repair corrupted CAE file. If the saved model database become corrupted, we can recreate it by starting Abacus with the recover option. We will show how to recover a model by JNL file in the end of this video. Please always note to move and keep the JNL file with the CAE file, in this way you are sure that you can recover your CAE model. Third, to send small files to your coworkers. Instead of sharing a big CAE file with your coworkers, you can send them only the JNL file which is a small text file. Fourth, to open a model from newer versions. We can recreate the CAE file of the newer versions of the Abacus software by our version using JNL file. Just we need to recover the file as explained and continue. Is it helpful? How to recreate a model by JNL file. Sometimes you can recreate a model from a JNL file by using file, run script, from the Abacus software GUI, but this way may cause some problems. The best way to recreate a model by a JNL file is to use Abacus commands. Open Abacus commands, and then type Abacus, CAE, recover, then type the address and the name of your file. The software will recover and open your model. Thanks for watching this video. If this video has helped you out, please let us know by a like, a comment, or a subscribe.